on the... <laughs> You're live now. I'm live now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Chris from Tipton and Hearst. Christine, I want to kill you. Anyway, so today we thought we would work with succulents. Today was kind of a struggle for me to come up with something. I don't know why I'm not hitting pay dirt today. For I think some it reason. was like 2.15 and you were going, what should we do today? 2.20 actually. Yeah, but exactly. than that. Uh -huh. So we've got these really cool succulents in it, Tipton and Hearst. They just came in from Florida and they're already pre-potted, meaning I don't have to take all the little pots and put them together. So what I thought we'd do first is we're going to take two of these and I'm going to cut the rim off of this one because see, this won't fit. <laughs> if I sit this down in there, it won't fit down in there. But if I take that edge off, then it should pop just right down in the bottom. Something like that. So, how is everybody doing out in the happy land? Well, we have Julie watching from Atlanta. She said hello. Hello. We have Janae. She's driving down the road. Janae, you better not be driving down the road. Well, she's watching. probably riding she's today. She's directing. She's directing. Yes, yeah. I know about that. Directing. Directing down the road. So see how that just pops right in there. So cute. And then we'll go back and take some moss when we finish up because I'm going to tie all this together with this cool river cane that we've been using several times. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the other one ready. Let me suit this one out of the way. Miss Peggy from Ricori is watching. Miss Betty from Hot Springs. Miss Brenda from Russellville. Awesome. Miss Gina said, do you really like those? Succulents? I think they're super cool. Um, and they're so, I uh, really like these because they're already pre-done. So it takes a lot of the labor out. You know, the first time I ever remember seeing a succulent was when I was a child with my grandmother. And she used to have these cool, and I'm sure y'all have all seen them. Well, those of us that are more mature. Remember the pot that had, there was like a, a water jug pot like this and it had little bitty pockets all the way up and down it. And my grandmother used to have hen and chicks. And that was the only succulent that I've ever seen before I came into the flower business, but it was hen and chicks. And the hen and chicks would be all over the whole pot. So you looked down the outside of the pot, it almost like it was all green because the, succ the succulents would take over the little pockets around the jar. So that's the first time I remember working with the succulent. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden in the last mm, five to 10 years, well, I guess the last five years, they've kind of become the it flower for especially it plant for a lot of like the millennials because they're so easy maintenance. A lot of people like to get these and they like to give them names and treat them like their children and I'm all about it. So we're going to drop that Ms. right Betty in. Miss Betty said that's called a strawberry pot. Strawberry pot. You're right. It is called a strawberry pot because you used to have strawberries in it too, didn't they? Where they had the plant and the berry would hang down and not rot. Miss right. Peggy said she remembers. Yes, yeah, she remembers. So now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put the moss around this, these and get them out of the way. And we'll set them off to the side. And this is just really to cover your mechanics and so the pot doesn't show up. We have lots of viewers today. A lot of people saying it's afternoon cloudy here in Conway, pouring rain in Benton. Yeah, it's muggy in Hot Springs, it's rainy pretty, in New Jersey. Pretty, pretty rainy out there. I mean, yeah. So today's not going to be anything to set the world on fire, but it is going to be kind of fun. We finish. So. Now that we've got those pots done, then we're going to go ahead and prep these other containers. Miss Susan asked, what is the best way to care for succulents? The great thing about succulents, they're very, very <coughs> easy care in the fact that you really don't have to do a lot to them, but water them, I think, maybe once a month, seems like. So let's take this one, and I'm going to cut it right above the edge, like that. Miss Susie like said, I have a strawberry pot with hen and chickens. Am I old from Tennessee? <laughs> no, well, no, I'm just saying my grandmother had them. Not that in, uh, no, all that's old is new again, you know, more or less. But I could, that's the one thing I remember about the hen and chicks or the succulents was those, that's how they grew them. That's the first time I ever saw them. Miss Mary said it's bright and sunny in Santa Barbara, California. Oh my goodness. So now I'm going to make a little bit of an indention on these, just like I did yesterday because we're gonna use fresh pots of succulents in with our cut flowers. The reason why you actually could buy those succulents in, in, in fresh and we'd have to wire them in. But see that we have pots of these in. I'm gonna kind of kill two birds with one stone, hopefully. Someone said it's the most beautiful weather in Switzerland today. Oh my goodness. We'll trade spots with you. Yeah, we'll like trade, yeah, here. come on. 
So Val me... from the UK said that they love watching your tutorials. Oh, you're so kind. So we're going to take those. And so all that little block that I cut out of this, I've cut it again to another block. And this is just going to wait to raise the pot up, more or less. So now I'm going to take these. I'm going to, oops. Drop something. Oh well, we're live. And I'm going to cut the rim off of these again. Miss Rhonda said that it, she's from Memphis and it's thundering there, or it's thunderstorms there. Oh my goodness. Well, one thing about Arkansas weather, if you don't like it, stick around about five minutes and it'll change for you. So, I think after today, though, it's supposed to be really nice. I think so. I sure hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. So one more of these. So I'm just taking this rim off so I can insert those without it having it hang over. And plus when we finish, it'll be easier to cover the mechanics up of the pot. You don't want your pot to show. We have someone that said hello from Belgium. Oh, goodness. Well, I hope you're not too disappointed with this one today. I feel kind of bad on the back, but this is boring. But anyway, I think when we put all the components together, it'll be kind of fun, though. Well, but a lot of people like succulents now, oh, I and mean, that's really no kidding. coming a thing. But, so, see how cute that is, just stuck in like that? So now we're going to go back. Man, this moss made a mess. I mean, this dirt. So, let me clean this off. Ugh. Making mud pies. <laughs> <laughs> mud pies on today's mud happy. Pie, mud pies. Today's happy mud pies. So I'm going to turn them like that, and so now I'm going to go back in between and put the plant. So it kind of goes up, down, up, down. And the reason why we're doing this one, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one so you can see it that way too. This would be great for like a long table, like a conference table in an office, something a little bit more masculine. So now we're going to go back and take our river cane, and we're going to start building structures, really simple structures. To go through this. Let me get all my dianthus or my green trick dalium. Miss Lowly said that I love that I love these. Nothing about flowers and plants are boring, and you are so enthusiastic. Oh well. Or authentic. We <laughs> I'm sorry, I was wrong. But you still are, yeah. um, and that's why they love watching you every day. So <laughs> about enthusiastic or, are enthusiastic or autistic. <laughs> no. Uh, we have hello from Idaho. Hello, hello Idaho. So now we're going to go back and just do really clean, long structure, like little columns all through this. So this makes, and I want it to be kind of long, so it makes a bigger impact going this way. Oop, turn that one wrong. I need to turn it this way so I can make it be more thicker to so for the camera. We have hello from New Zealand. Hello from Naples. Hello, New Zealand. Hello, Naples. Looking good from Alabama. I always try to go back at, the, at night time and kind of answer everybody and just see what everybody's thinking. So if you have any suggestions, we love to hear them. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, let me know the other way too. We always, we're always trying to make good selections and also make sure we're doing it right. So now we're going to go back and take longer pieces. Oops of the river cane. I got one bunch left. Believe it or not, this river cane that we took out, our equisetum, came from, remember the time we did the tulips? We did the spin thing with the tulips? I actually finally took that apart today. The tulips were still alive, believe it or not, but I finally took that apart. So now we're going to go back and we're going to weave these. You could do it two ways. You could do a few pieces up. Here, let's do this. Someone asked, how long will these last? The cane will actually dry. 
I'm going to do it like this. I'm actually, instead of having to go all the way through, I'm going to spread the wealth, as they say, and angle it like that. So we have Miss Jane said, another one from New Zealand, heading to tech today to do a final practical assignment today for her florist. Oh my goodness. Forestry. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. So in New Zealand, y'all have, it's a licensed profession. You know, the only, only place in the States that does that is Louisiana. They have to, it's like being a hairdresser or whatever. You have to get your license. So you have to go to school and pass a test. And that's one thing that AIFD does. We try to really promote education and I'm a member of AIFD and we always try to promote education. That's why on some of these videos we're probably going like, what in the world does he do? <laughs> we're going to take his pen away. Anyway. Miss Lopez says this is only her second video of yours that she's seen, but you are fabulous. Oh, we're very kind. Thank you. So I'm just joining these together. So instead of it being five separate containers, it's going to more or less look like it's one long container. What are the cut flowers with the green pom-pom tops called? That's, um, this is called Green Trick, or it's actually, believe it or not, we've talked about a couple of times, this is actually a variety of carnation. I call it moss balls, but they call it Green Trick. So when we finish, we're going to go back and add it in a few places where we have some things showing to make sure that it fills in the spaces. Miss Susan from Greer's Ferries said, you amaze me with your creativity. Oh, you're very kind. We have Hi from Canada. Someone said, this is a nice contemporary design. We were trying to do something a little bit off the norm. So let's go back and add some moss in some of these. I probably should have done that in the first place. Moss in some of these holes now that I've got the cane in place. And then I'm going to let y'all choose whether we want to take it a, a notch up by actually inserting some cane up this way. Someone asked, how do you transport this? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could box it. You, what you would do, you'd have all these separate components done, and then once you get it in place, then you would do the runners, the, the connecting pieces together. So there's that. So the cool thing about this is this is actually cut as well as potted material together. How many holes in the front there, Christina? I don't see any. I think you're good. There's some okay, right there, right but there, you're yeah, getting it. For sure. Okay. So now let's go back and add our green trick or our dianthus balls, as I call them, to this. Sounds still good for everybody out there? Sounds okay? So we have someone that said they have a wide live edge mantle and she's going to have her husband mount the TV over it. Right. But she was wondering if you could give her some ideas of like long arrangements that aren't very tall. She's well, stumped with what to put Yeah, there. you could definitely do something like multiple containers like this would be kind of fun in there. Where you keep it low because you don't, you probably only have a very few inches above before the TV starts. Um, you know, that's something that's really changed in decorating lately. Remember, I can remember when we used to make these big displays in the store for like TV, like mantles and stuff. People have like a beautiful painting or a family portrait or a mirror. And we used to do all these elaborate containers with flowers or branches or whatever. Well, now with everybody putting their TV above their mantle, a flat screen, that all that space is now gone. So you really have to really be very thoughtful when you're picking out what you need above that. Oh, that's the dirt. Never mind. Oops. Don't want to put it in there. So let's pull that to there. We got any ma major holes over there anywhere? I don't see any holes. Okay. So here's the trick to it. And y'all can go yay, nay, or indifferent. But at least you saw, you saw where it started. Now you can go back and start to insert these in between all of this. We've got some cute things coming out with succulents too. 
Um, my daughter sent me some cute ideas. She was on Etsy all the time, and they're doing all this select, all these things for on Etsy, where it's it sucks S U C C X without you, more or less. And we're still going to start doing some fun things with succulents with all the coronavirus. It's not spelt the way you think. Get the mind of the gutter, Christina. N not me. Not, not me. you. Mm -hmm. Everyone's saying that the sound is very good today. Miss Linda said, "Keep doing what you're doing with the sound. It's oh, great." Oh, great. Well, good. Well, that was a. They can hear us loud and clear. That was an idea from Miss Jody. She gave us the uh, gave us what to go by and look for. So, getting close to the end here. Hmm, this didn't turn out too bad after all. We have one that's trying to fall off the front. Where? Oh, trying to jump to its death. Okay, we're going to weave it right into there. It's like you would weave that one right into there. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's take another piece. You know me. As long as there's something on the floor, we're going to use it. So anyway, we had a little fun with succulents today. But just showing how you can take smaller components and put them together to make a bigger statement is what we really were trying to go for. And also to let you see all these fun succulents we got in. So, hope you've enjoyed it today. I hope you had a little bit of happy with us, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. I already know what I'm doing tomorrow, so I'm not going to tell you until then, but at least I don't have to worry about it until the last minute. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Y'all have a great evening. Hopefully the weather won't get to you too bad, and thanks for watching our happies. See you later. Bye.